this I'm pretty sure this tank was full before we started. But sometimes the lights don't work. Okay. Um, so they're really we gotta go buy them lights. You should, when you check off this truck, you should go up above and make sure it's full. Okay. Have him go ahead and shut that down. So we're not just blowing water. Okay, I want to show you guys something right now. We've got the pressure relief valve set. We've got 130 PSI going out to that nozzle now. If I come up here with this pressure relief valve set, if I come up here and try and throttle this up, It'll go up and come back down. There will be a point that this pump will try and overtake the pressure relief valve because it's only a small hose. So this is to save him at the end. It's still at 130. It doesn't matter what I do here. That pressure won't go above Okay. Okay. So if you don't have your throttle set right, is that not going to give you 130 up there? Correct. Okay. You need to at least get 130 yeah. for the pressure relief light to come on. See, if I turn this down lower than 120, all right, that'll shut off. Okay. That means that this is disengaged and it's just running 120 psi. There's a stack of springs in there that move back and forth, so I can throttle up. The other thing I want to show you, we're running pressure right now. I want to supply a truck. Whenever you're running a structure fire with this nozzle running, you never want to change from high pressure to volume because that's going to change what he has out there. If you're just supplying another truck at a fire, yeah. watch what happens with the pressure when I turn from this from uh, high pressure to volume. Right away you drop 30 pounds. I dropped 30 PSI. I'm flowing a lot more water now. I'm not flowing pressure. So can he open that up still? Just he can still what... do that. It won't spray out as far as yeah, he I did before. To see what it looked like. Let's go ahead and see. You probably won't be able to tell. Okay. Because this is a small hose, if he had an inch, and, inch two and a half on there, you'd really see a difference. If you had three hoses out there, then you can see it. Huh? If you had three hoses running, you'd see it. Yes. Alright. If you had if you had more hoses okay. running, you definitely see it. You but with volume, with volume, he's got more water, but less pressure. Yeah. Water's really heavy. Yeah. It's pulling more water through there, not so much through this. But if you were on the end of one of these, you'd really feel this thing would just it almost lay you over. Okay. So you can change to see what happens with the pressure. Now we're going back up to high pressure. You so you can move this, you can move this while the truck <laughs> is in pump. Okay. High pressure to volume. Okay. No, it's it's basically opening and closing a valve in the pump system that's giving you more water flow and more pressure. So you're not losing any water. You'll lose on volume, you're flowing more water out. So you will go through water quicker. Yeah. Um, but not through this. That's only when you're supplying some pressure. And you need to make sure you have a big enough hose to hold the volume too. The massive amount you'll get through this gallon per minute because of the size of this hose is 250 gallons. It doesn't matter what your volume pressure is set at, you're only going to get 250 gallons through this hose because that's all the bigger size it is. So it's the size along with volume. Where it really comes into play on your volume is if I have five or four two and a halfs coming on. Then you're pushing out volume, more volume, because I've got almost a thousand gallons going out of this truck supplying somebody else. That's where your volume is really comes into play. You want to be able to push that water. Did everybody get it? Kind of have an idea? Pretty simple. There's a lot of gadgets to move in here. I want everybody to go through it. 